Here's a list of 11 free Final Cut Pro plugins that you should download. The first plugin on this list is from Alex4D. It's a relatively simple plugin, but it adds so many extra features for your animations. In Final Cut Pro, I have this really basic animation of a star popping in, but you'll notice that it is a very linear animation. At the end, it just comes to a complete stop. There's no sort of easing. So what Alex4D's plugin does is it adds easing onto stuff like the scaling features in Final Cut Pro. All we will do is come on over, locate Alex Alex 4D in our effects and apply the curve scale. Once I've done that, you'll see in my effects I have these scale features. Right now it's currently set to 100. Let's set that down to zero. I'll click to add a keyframe, move forward in space, and then we'll just set that to a full 100. If I play back, it will be a linear animation, but here is where the difference is. If I right click and select show video animation, we'll see my animation keyframes here in the video viewer. But you'll also notice this extra button on the far right side that we can click on. This will allow us to see the curves inspector in Final Cut Pro. All I need to do to add some easing is to right click on this line between these two points and I will just select ease. So now if I push play, you'll notice that the animation has a really nice easing factor to it. So this is definitely a feature that should already be directly in Final Cut Pro without any plugins, but Alex was nice enough to set this up as a free plugin so you can go download that right now. Stupid Raisins has made a great pack of free social media lower thirds. So if we come over to our titles, you can locate Stupid Raisins social media lower thirds, and you will see that there are so many different variations of this, including a custom one. So if there's a social media website that you don't see here, you can add your own. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click and drag the YouTube social media handle down here, and you'll see that it has this really nice dynamic animation directly on the screen. Plus, it comes with all of these great handles so you can quickly readjust the size, the rotation, and the position all directly on your screen. Now, all I need to do to go in, I'll just type in Dylan Bates, and then I'll click on this top left arrow to go to the next part of our text, and I can just write at the final cut bro. And just like that, I've created this lower third for my channel. But if you wanted to customize it even further, you could just go on over to your title inspector and you'll see that there are all of these different options for customization. So it's completely up to you how you wanna customize each and every one of these for your channel. But I really think that they add a nice level of professionalism to your videos. And the best part is they're completely free. A really great way to add a nostalgic feel to your videos is by adding a filmic look to it. And so Lifted Eric did a really great job of creating this free plugin for Final Cut Pro. So to apply this effect, you'll just go on up to your titles, click and drag that down onto your timeline, and you'll see that it adds this nice little border to our videos. If we come over to the right side, we can change the film style. So I'll change it from this Kodak 1 over to something like Style 5, and you'll see that it adds this really nice border over on my video. I can drag up stuff like the film burn amount, the film grain, the position of that film burn, and then we can of course just push play and see how that's really affecting our video. We can also disable these side frames so that it's got the full image on it, but this just can be a fun way to stylize your video really quickly and to give it that kind of nostalgic feel. This next plugin has a ton of utility and it is called RT Blend Modes from Ripple Training. Normally in Final Cut Pro, if I wanted to test out blend modes, I'd select my clip, go up to the top right and find my blend mode, and then I could just go through each list and try and decide which blend mode I wanted. But if I take RT Blend Modes and apply that over the top of my clip, I can go into the drop zone settings and go ahead and select this underlying clip, then select apply clip. Then I will change the what to blend menu over to the clip with the drop zone. So now I can very, very quickly get an idea of how my two clips are going to blend together. Also, when I'm ready for my blend modes to be applied, I could actually change the viewer over to your blend mode. Then I could change the blend mode with drop zone over to whatever blend mode I want to use. So if I decided that I liked how the add blend mode looked, I could do that and now the two clips are blended. 
a dead giveaway when somebody is using an action cam for maybe your cinematic masterpiece is that the image is totally warped and looks extremely fisheye. So Alex 4D makes it back on the list with his wide angle fix. All we will do is take a look at this shot that I picked up from Envato Elements and I'm just going to click and drag Alex 4D's wide angle fix directly on the shot and you'll see already how that has fixed the image. If I'm not happy with the adjustments it has made, I could change the lens type over to custom and I could click and drag the slider to get it straightened out as much as I need. But not only that, he's also included a really handy grid and honestly this plugin is worth it just for the grid. So if we apply the grid, now we can get an idea on the horizon how straight it should be. So now I can just click and drag this out until that horizon is completely straightened. We could also click and drag this grid to be moved around in the image so that you can get it lined up directly with where your horizon should be. M Camrig makes it onto so many people's free plugins list and that is for very good reason. If we take a look at M Camrig, I'll just click and drag it down onto my timeline. You'll see that that has added this nice little reticle here in my viewer. All I need to do to use M Camrig is to click and drag this reticle to wherever I want to zoom in on. Now if I were to push play, you'll see that the animation plays out and I have this really great dynamic zoom in onto these trees. So that in and of itself is pretty cool but that is just barely scratching the surface of all the amazing features that M Camrig has. For example, if I were to apply M Camrig over here onto this shot of my computer screen, I could click and drag to go ahead and zoom in on that subscribe, but maybe I want to add in some 3D parallax to this. Well, I could scroll on down, I could adjust the camera Y rotation, so now we kind of get a 3D angle on this particular shot, but then we could come down and adjust the rotation rate. So I could have this adjust by a few degrees every couple seconds. So if I push play, you'll see that the camera continues to move, adding a ton of really nice dynamics to my shot. Scrolling further down, you could adjust stuff like the depth of field, the camera angle of view, if it has infinite focus. So there are so many options with this particular plugin and it would take an entire video to dive into each and every one of them. But all I can say is you must download this plugin if you are a creator in Final Cut Pro. This next plugin is another one from Motion VFX, and that is M Multiverse. And in fact, if you happen to watch the little promo video, you might have noticed a familiar face. <laughs> M Multiverse, even though it seems like it's for Doctor Strange stuff, can actually be used for a massive variety of reasons. Opening up M Multiverse, we have all of these different titles we can go ahead and click and drag. I'm just gonna drag this anamorphic effect onto my shot and I'll go ahead and adjust it to be the duration of my shot. So now if I push play, you'll see that it's added this really cool looking anamorphic effect onto the shot of the duck. I can go ahead and add in this animation in and if I push play, you'll see how the letterbox actually animates in really nicely. We can adjust the chromatic aberration and that's just one of the effects that are included. We could also include in some camera shake. So if I apply that, now we've got a little camera shake going on here. We could apply a LUT onto our shot. We could apply this light and shadow effect and actually highlight a specific part of our video. So this can be really cool for adding nice vignettes. And one effect that I think is so cool is this reality distortion effect. So I'll apply that. And if I put this right over the duck now, and if I push play, you'll see that it creates this really cool reality distortion effect on the videos that could be used for a massive variety of different effects. There is no shortage of amazing transitions for Final Cut Pro, but I thought I would showcase one that stood out to me in particular, especially for the free side of Final Cut Pro plugins. This one comes from Vladoskin, Vladoskin, I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name, but it comes with 10 amazing transitions. They are called slice transitions. So if I apply one onto my shots here and push play, you'll see how it slices up the image and then adds a ton of momentum into the next shot. And again, I could apply maybe transition six here, just see how that looks. But one that really stood out to me was transition 10. So if I go ahead and apply that on here and push play, you'll see how it creates these circular slices in the video and then rotates into the next shot. XFX Long Shadow is a great way to add some dimensionality to your text. All I'm gonna do is apply this on the timeline and you'll see that it's created this text layer that has this great looking long shadow. I can click on this reticle and drag it around to whatever direction I like. We could write in whatever we want. 
we can of course change the color and a feature that I think is really cool is if we come into the shadow angle options, we can click to add a keyframe, move forward, and then animate the rotation on this long shadow. So now it's almost like there is a light source moving around our text object. It's a really simple plugin, but I think it can add a lot to your videos. This next freebie comes from Leno Effects, and that is their Ransom Note plugin. If you locate Leno Effects over here in your categories, you can see all of these different letters that they have created A through Z. If you wanted to write in a specific word using this plugin, all you would need to do is go ahead and locate each letter that you would want. I'll just push Q to drop that onto the timeline. So I found S, U, B, S, C, R, I, B, and finally E. So now to move these letters around, I'll just select the S letter and drag that over. We can go through to the U and just keep doing this until all of your letters are spread out. And a quick tip is you can actually select all of the letters at once in your timeline so that you can get the handles that you might possibly need here to move these around a little bit more efficiently without having to select each and every letter each time. So now if I push play, I have this great little animation that says subscribe. This last plugin on the list is a freebie from me. I made it available through my Patreon. It is a completely free download. You don't need to be subscribed to get this one. A big problem I've had in Final Cut Pro is the inability to save a title preset. So if I wanted to go ahead and create a special title here, have it say subscribe scale it up, and then if I wanted to animate it in, I wouldn't be able to save those animation presets to use for later titles. However, I created this plugin so that you could do just that. Rather than applying a regular title, I'm actually gonna apply this onto an adjustment layer. We'll go on over to our effects and just look up the custom title template creator, and I'll just go ahead and apply that onto the adjustment layers. You'll see that it's just like any other title. However, I'll need to go into my video inspector. Now we can go ahead and write in whatever we want. We can click and drag this over down to the bottom left-hand corner, and we could come into the animation settings, drag up the invariance, the in duration, and then we could go ahead and adjust the position to be way off, something like that. And so if I push play, you'll see now that my title has this great little animation. But if I wanted to save this for later usage, rather than needing to copy and paste this into future projects, I could just come on over to the right and select save effects preset. Now I could just call this subscribe lower third animation and save that. So anytime I apply this adjustment layer, I could just type in subscribe, and there it is, my subscribe lower third animation, and I'll push play, and you'll see how it's got this really dynamic animation. It saved my title scaling and position, and it would save a bunch of other factors like drop shadow and glow. So if you wanna download this, there's a link to that down below, as well as links to everything else that I mentioned in this video. If this video was helpful to you in some way, you may wanna check out this video where I show you 10 amazing paid plugins for Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.